Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. Dolphin in the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Mutton snapper Let's right there, this. baby. Today on the boat with us, we got my oldest daughter, Chloe, one of the three South Florida saltwater fishing girls. Her boyfriend, Justin's coming along with us. Before we get into this though, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. All right, everybody, we're getting ready. We're gonna head out to the Boca Inlet. We'll see you on the water. All right, so we're outside of Boca. We're gonna do some planer trolling. And the setup is Penn International 30, uh, number six planer. The yo-yo spooled with a hundred feet of 40 pound monofilament leader and my favorite planter trolling lure which is a half ounce dolphin colored squirt squid with a fluorescent green sea witch and a bonita strip. Planter trolling is a staple down here in South Florida. Uh, right now we got a cold front kind of coming through. It's going to stir up the kingfish. They love sort of overcast, nasty, windy weather. So we're gonna break out the planers. That's why we're doing this. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna zigzag in between about 90 feet to 150 feet and see if we can pick somebody up. We wanna be going about between around six miles an hour. Now, when you're, we're talking speed, boat speed, you don't wanna look at your tachometer. You don't wanna look at your odometer, which is your water over water speed. You want to look at your over ground speed. So you've got to pay attention to your GPS speed. All right, let's get into it. So what you want to see is that rod really doubled over. If it's not doubled over like that and bent real good while you're trolling, your planer's tripped. You need to reel it in, you need to reset your planer or you've got a fish. Also notice, the drag is set really tight. There's a lot of tension when you're planer trolling because uh, you can get what's called creep on your line and before you know it, you'll have out several hundred feet of line without even knowing about it. So we're out here doing a standard Florida setup trolling. I got my planer over here, trolling down in the water column about 35 to 50 feet. And over here up on top with light gear, Controlling a spro jig just beyond the whitewash of the boat. Kind of in close, something comes up, nabs it, we're good to go. Like I said, we're zigzagging back and forth along the edge of the reef. We're not going out too deep. And uh, hoping that something's gonna take the line real soon. See what happens. Our planer is tripped. We're getting ready to put the rod in Justin's hands. All right, pick the rod up and it'll go right in there put that right in there there you go all right we're gonna turn the clicker off all right now real there we go you ever caught a fish on a planer before no all right cool what do you think we got kingfish bonita tuna take a guess bonita ah Thanks for the optimism there. Is that bad? That's definitely not dinner, that's bait. But the need is always good because we can make more strips to do what you're doing right now. We're getting to the planer. Very good. All right, now, Justin, what I need you to do is put your rod down in the holder. Make sure it clicks in.
I see the lure, he's up on top. Fish in the boat. Watch yourself. Oh, key grab. Yeah. You got him. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's, fine. it's going out. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. All right. <laughs> he's flipping out. What about him? He's doing exactly what he's supposed. He's to do. doing exactly what he's supposed to do. What a good man. Good deal. Okay. Justin. That's your first kingfish? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, we're back at it. Justin caught his very first kingfish ever. Gonna be awesome. All it takes is one fish to change your entire fishing trip. Keep that in mind. Chloe's about ready to pick up the reel. This is, oops. Get him going on. Pick it up. Oh, All right, put, put, put it in there. Get the get that thing down no. in there. There you go. All right, there real. Go. Now, hold on. Let me take that off. Yeah, you there we go. All right, reel them up. All right, Chloe. Look at this. South Florida fishing girl. Planer trolling. There we go. You don't have to pull back on them. Just reel. You'll be fine. That's fine. That's not 95 cents. That's a bolo, man. That's the, one of the... the $99. Groupon. These guys know what they're doing though, man. Don't knock them. Out here all day, every day. Hello. Reel that bad boy in. Alright, when we get the planer up to here, I'm going to hand line them in. Justin's going to take the camera. You want to try to do is take your thumb and make make your make the line go back and forth on the reel uh, a little even. Okay. Not not super fast. Slow slowly back and forth. So you see how your line's building up on one side. You want to oh, make yeah, it yeah. go to the other side. Okay. Bring it over here. Big tangled mess once we get the fish into the boat. Oh, here he comes. Oh, we got a mud snapper. Yeah. Troll planer. Look at that. That, wow. That's insane. Chloe, well, you just caught a mud snapper on a planer. Oh, well, pretty. <laughs> That's awesome. That's unheard of, okay? <laughs> Mud snapper on a planer. All right. We got to measure him, make sure he's 18 inches, and we can see if we can keep him. That's crazy. All right. So far, good day. We got one kingfish and one mutton snapper on the planer. Very odd thing. Mutton snapper very rarely hit trolling, and I've never caught one on a wire leader on a planer trolling so there is a first for everything hey it's obviously a good day planers trip again so i'm gonna reel up a fish
Okay. They actually get anything? That's crazy. Oh yeah. At least I caught something. What is oh, it? Blue runner. <laughs> don't ever let them say that little fish don't eat bait just as big as they are. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. Alright, well, planter trolling was awesome and unorthodox, both at the same time today. Caught a kingfish, caught a mutton snapper, and for the finale, we caught a blue runner. That being said, it's time to knock off with the planter trolling. We're gonna throw in a couple spro jigs, troll back in the shallow reef, see if we can catch some mackerel or something, and uh, head back towards the dock. All right, let's see what happens. Right, as so we're getting ready to call it a day. We got something oh. over the reef, probably a bonita. Yep, pull it back and then, you know, reel on the way down. Oh, look. Yep. Do you see the fish that's... Yes, that's bait that's fish. Really all right, pull back, reel on the way down. I'll just try to force them in, there you go. timing on the Benita. Oh. Yep, if he's gonna run, let him run. Pull back on him, and reel on the way down. There you go, pull back, then you reel on the way down. There you go, perfect. There you go, finesse. big but hey <laughs> bait is bait here he comes he's coming over here here he comes little bonita perfect real That about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned a little bit about planer trolling and the weird things that can happen along with it. Hope to see you on the next adventure. Till then, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us. All right, here we go. Product of another successful South Florida saltwater fishing trip. Chloe with her nice mutton snapper. Justin, nice little kingfish, little snake, good to go. All right, y'all had fun? Yeah. Think you want to do it again? Always. All right, cool.